change in color is inclusion, diversity in faces, cultures, and stories. A break from the traditional narrative in media we see every day. I'm India Johnson. Join me as we highlight the beauty and the struggle. Change in color. In color. My name is Malia Lupe Fuak Biokalafi Nai. I go to UCLA. I'm a third year comm major. I don't feel like I necessarily chose it, but in more sense that it chose me. Because when I was at my JC, I thought I wanted to be a nurse. So I was taking all these crazy science classes. And it was through like my pits of failure that I realized that this is just that science was just not a thing for me. There's other majors available than just being a nurse, a doctor, not that I'm taking away from them, but it's just like, there's other options. It was also really hard to explain that to my parents, like I don't wanna be a nurse because I wanna be a comm major because there's like a language barrier there. So with my culture, like being Tongan, there's, there's positives, but then there's also negatives. When it comes to body image on a society level, Polynesian people in general, we're just known to be, you know, oh, you need a linebacker, I got you, you know? Like, you you need a softball player, hard hitter, got you on there too. Volleyball player, got you. But I sucked at all these sports. I was never an athlete and it, it sucked because everyone stereotyped me as that, you know? Like, I, I started high school, you know, volleyball coach wanna ask me like, come play, come play for us. No, I suck. Like, trust me, you don't want me. I chose intellect over athletics because I found a lot amongst my peers that I didn't really fit in because everyone else was talking about how good they were at their like whatever sport they played and I'm just kind of like I got an A on my last test like you know and it's just it was hard to find um, actually like find a role model that also did what I did. On a cultural level, we're supposed to be smaller. Like, my mom gives me grief about being bigger than I am. In society, it's like, oh, the bigger, the better. In that, like, they embrace our size, you know? But in, in a sense, they kind of only see our size. But then with cultural, it's kind of negative because it's like, if you're not, like, a certain waist size, you're too big. Ultimately, they still love you, but it's just, it'd be better if you were smaller. There were times I did struggle with my like my body weight. Like I was like, oh, I'm not small enough. I'm I'm too big. But again, like my family helped in making me feel better. Like my sister was always there for me, reassuring me like it's okay. You're not like you know just kind of giving me that feedback and just that support that I needed to really fully accept the body that you know God gave me. I absolutely feel like our body types take over our intellect and that. Polynesians, like, they just kind of think, like, I just need to be good at football and I'll get a scholarship. You know, if I'm good at football, they're not going to care about my grades. I feel like there's so much pushing them of, like, be good at your sport, be good at your sport, but there's not enough, like, reminders that you're a student athlete. Like, you're a student first before you're an athlete. You can go further in life with education. Okay, you can't throw as hard as the next guy? That's totally fine. How hard can you study? Like, what's your work ethic? I think that's something that really just needs to be like revived in young Polynesians today is that you are good enough. Personally, I, I identify a lot with who my family is and I feel, I feel like they're a lot of the pushing factor of why I'm here and why I became the person that I am today. And in my culture, there's some drawbacks and the thing that I like about it is that there's a lot of respect in our culture for women and we are highly regarded. But the thing that also like sucks about that is that when you're an 18 year old trying to attain higher education, it becomes kind of a conflict between you and your parents because your parents have like, they're just like, you're too young. I feel like it's not about the lack of support for higher education, nor is it the desire for higher education. It's just that in our community, we feel an obligation to stay home and to like help out with our family because it's like, how do I, how do I feel about going off and, you know, kind of forgetting about my family. And our parents don't obligate us to stay, 
but it's just knowing that you know what's happening at home it's hard to kind of take yourself away from that and focus on you know going for the longer route of higher education going to the community college helped me with my work ethic because in high school, I, I didn't, I really didn't have any, like I kind of just was like stagnant. So in college, I pushed myself and I promised that I would try my hardest. I really want to thank my community college because they helped me realize the potential that I could be at. I'm aware of how non-existent Pacific Islanders are, but to hear that actual statistic where we make up a point zero zero one percent like you know there's only like 30 of us and that's that's including faculty uh, grad students and undergrad if there's any advice that i would give to any other pacific islander students is don't give up it's hard and i'm not gonna lie it's stressful but there's a reason they picked you like they could have denied you but they didn't like they chose you to be here so always remember that of the thousands and thousands of people that are applying, they chose you. You as an individual beat that marker. You are, as an individual are meant to be here. In color, change in color.